Hey, this is Gavin Palmer with Hero Looking for Group, responding to Brent Cooper, who was on the STOA YouTube channel talking about convergence for consensus building. And I like the idea in general. I could, uh, I will have, I will agree that we should try to do this. Um, and, but I have criticisms, I have ideas. And, you know, there's a question of what is my role. And so, basically, I would say that, um, so first of all, my role is I'm willing to change my mind. And I'm trying to show people how to do that because people aren't good at doing that. So, for, so I would claim that if you are into this whole convergence for con consensus building, you need to be into this thing that Elliot Temple wrote about called Pass Forward. So you need to create opportunities for other people to teach you. It was very hard to find this video and to find Brent Cooper. Um, and that's because there's not a lot of help here in the description for this video. So if you look in my description, there is a link to a Discord server and you can get in touch with me. So that's me creating opportunities for other people to teach me because I want there to be a convergence for consensus building. I'm actually practicing. I'm not just preaching, I'm practicing. So I would encourage you to practice as well. Um, try to create opportunities for other people to teach you um, and have a mindset that is willing to learn. And on that note, um, I have some notes. Uh, you can pause this and read through it. Um, you know, Peter said there's an article. I don't know where the article is. You know, the article should be linked in the description. Um, how do these STOA sessions happen and what is the process for them? So yeah, I'm, I want to be part of this convergence for consensus building, but I don't even know how to have a session. And these sessions, they are uh, synchronous. And when you do synchronous, there are trade-offs. And I, I would propose, and I think Elliot Temple proposes, that you should be doing asynchronous. You should do synchronous. I think you should do both, but you, um, a lot of these people in this space are overemphasizing synchronous communication. And the problem with synchronous communication is that it's basically related to what Evan said here. Um, it seems to want more time. So you do a meeting for an hour. It's not enough time. And Evan says maybe it takes most of a day or an afternoon. Well, I think it takes more than that. It, it can take months to develop consensus. And so, and then many people can't dedicate a day. And so you have to have uh, opportunity for asynchronous convergence for consensus building. And that's what I'm doing with this video, right? It's my attempt to, um, to do this asynchronously. So the, uh, Brent says, whoever is willing to host these things themselves and invite me and others to participate will be very fruitful. So that's what I'm doing. I am inviting Brent and others to participate, except that you say this and people may, a hard, may have a hard time actually finding you so that they can invite you. So, you know, as far as developing consensus, let's at least develop some consensus around this pass forward policies like you really need to make it easy for people to connect with you when you say these things I would say these we need to figure out the rules of the game before we actually start talking about issues like climate change because we haven't even agreed on what a scientist is like you say 100% of climate scientists agree that you know agree that uh, you know climate change is real is natural and anthropogenic and a serious policy issue. Well, what is an expert? Let's agree on what an expert is first. So um, I don't think we have consensus on what an actual expert is. So that's what I mean when we talk about the rules. It's like part of the rules is talking about the meaning of the words. And so we should at least understand what an expert is because the world doesn't know what an expert is. An expert, I claim an expert is someone who is able to predict and it's, so how many climate scientists have made predictions that did not come true? How many have publicly made predictions which would expose their measurable expertise? How many people aren't making predictions but call themselves climate scientists, right? So I'm only going to re respect the people, and this is my position, I'm willing to change my mind, 
but I show respect to the uh, the people who are able to make predictions, right? These are the experts, and we should be able to recognize the experts, and um, and when we yeah when we can recognize the experts, then we have a better sense making organ. Then we can uh, tr arrive at you know consensus. Um, I, so let's figure out the rules of the game first. And so my suggestion would be that we figure out. I would say the first thing is figuring out things like pass forward. When you create YouTube videos, you need to be inviting people uh, to connect with you. If that's a problem and you want some kind of filter, then uh, that's a disagreement. We don't have consensus on this pass forward idea about providing an opportunity for people to connect with you. So I think the STOA channel is making mistakes uh, by not inviting people to connect. Um, Brent. You may be making mistakes by not inviting people to connect. And then, uh, and then are you too focused on synchronous communication? So these are the kinds of things that we need to have consensus about before we start talking about climate change. We need to actually start talking about, for example, Adam was talking about the electoral reform. Like we can actually do this. So we can, we can develop the election processes which can be used for our game that we're playing and then that election system and those processes can develop over time and actually uh, be integrated into the real world as far as you know in politics so we can discover we can do the inventio discover and invent the election systems um, in our game and then it can uh, be adopted and integrated into the real world inside of government, for example. And uh, and I would, I got a lot of ideas. I think there are a lot of people making mistakes, um, including Brent. And you know, the way I f I feel like a marginalized voice because you have a space um, where you're focused on synchronous communication. You, it's difficult to reach these people who are in this space. And connect with them and if I'm doing asynchronous communication these people they either aren't aware of my uh, desire to be a part of their game um, or um, they are ignoring me right so this is part of the problem with consensus building is that you know I'm either being ignored because intentionally or unintentionally and so we want to create a place we want to make it easy for people like me to connect so that we can play the game with you. We can play this consensus building game. Anyways, that's it for now. I appreciate your time and your attention. And, you know, get in touch with me. I will put the link to my Discord server in the description below. Thank you.